you may be feeling a little bit confused as to what's the unit. I'm gonna use some pattern blocks today to talk about how do we figure out what part of something another something is. In other words, if I've got a yellow hexagon, what part is the green equilateral triangle? So I'm gonna put a link in the comments below to the virtual manipulatives, and I want you to launch the pattern blocks uh, virtual manipulative and follow along with me. So I'm gonna start with the basic yellow hexagon, and I want to see what part of the yellow hexagon is the green equilateral triangle. Again, we could say what fraction of the yellow hexagon does the green equilateral triangle represent? You can see that I can fill up this yellow hexagon with green equilateral triangles, and I see that there are six green equilateral triangles that make up the entire hexagon. Therefore, just one green equilateral triangle would be called one sixth. Now notice that I'm defining the unit as the yellow hexagon. What makes this tricky is I'm gonna switch the unit on you in just a few minutes. All right, go ahead and take a minute and try the other ones. So we have the red trapezoid and the blue rhombus. Also, I can think about the yellow hexagon. What fraction of a yellow hexagon is the yellow hexagon? Well, it would be one whole. I can see that in this case, because the unit is defined as the yellow hexagon, I know that there are two red trapezoids that make up the whole hexagon. Therefore, one red trapezoid would be represented by one half. So each red trapezoid would be called one half. The blue rhombus, you can see that there are three of them that make up the yellow hexagon. Therefore, one blue rhombus would be one third of the whole when it's defined as the yellow hexagon. Now what I wanna do is I wanna change the unit. And this lesson is called what's the unit because if you are not paying attention to the unit, you are going to be confused. So now I'm going to switch the unit to this combination. So if this combination is our unit, then I want to know what fractional part is the green equilateral triangle. I need to figure out how many green equilateral triangles fit inside of my unit. Notice that the unit has now changed. If you're thinking, Marcia, easy, it's one six. No, no, no. That was when the yellow hexagon was the unit. Remember, I changed it on you. So the new unit is this guy right here. Okay, so how many green equilateral triangles fit inside of this? There would be three, right? I can see one here, one here, and one here. Well, if there are three parts that fit into the whole, then that would mean this was equal to one third, one triangle out of three that can make the whole. Now, let's figure out the red trapezoid. Now with the red trapezoid, again, I'm thinking about what part of my whole is this red trapezoid? Now it's really hard to tell right now because I, I don't know how I'm gonna fit that inside of it. All right, let's do it a different way. If I know that the green equilateral triangle is one third of the whole, then I could think of how many green equilateral triangles could fit inside of that red trapezoid. Let's go ahead and put them on and see if we can figure it out. I can see that three green triangles fit inside the red trapezoid. So really I can think of this as three copies of, now the green equilateral triangle, but what fraction is that? It's really a third. So it's three copies of one third, which is equivalent to three thirds or one, one whole, right? Mm, interesting, that makes sense. Now let's do the yellow hexagon. Again, remember, it's no longer one, it's going to have a different value because we've changed our unit. I think I'm gonna try taking my green equilateral triangles and fitting them inside the yellow hexagon similarly to how I did with the red trapezoid. You can see here that there are six green equilateral triangles that fit inside the yellow hexagon six copies of one third, which would give me two holes. So the yellow hexagon is really called two holes 
when this is the unit. Hopefully you're getting an idea of the pattern of how to figure out what the unit is on something. A lot of times it's easier to break it down into a piece that you can easily fit, figure out the name of and then think of that in terms of copies of. Hopefully you've got a better idea of how to find the fraction name for a piece when the unit continues to change.